So we received our clear touches about two weeks ago. As soon as it got here, I was really eager to turn it on and get started with it, and it was very user-friendly. I'm a technology geek, so I really like playing with all the different things, and I want to be able to engage my kids in different ways. Times 100. It's definitely giving me a lot of opportunities to embed a lot more technology. Um, there's ways that on the canvas with the dry erase board you can pull in a browser so you can pull up say we're talking about Great Britain and my students really need a visual of what the architecture looks like. Um, I'm able to just input a picture really quickly all right there on the board. Well for me it helps me both develop new ways of teaching and you know kind of move away from the paper paper based um, learning, which is, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but we are in the 21st century and we're dealing with 21st century kids. And I think the more technology we can use with gadgets like the panel, the more prepared our students will be for the world they're going to be living in when they get older. But the webcam was an awesome addition to it because that does allow our virtual students to still feel like they're part of the class family. They love that I don't have my little dinky dry erase board with my marker and all the black stuff everywhere. Right, they, they think it's really cool because it's like a big TV to them. And so they always ask, do you have your, your clear touch on? Do you have your clear touch on? Um, because they like to see the whole classroom and they like to see um, what's going on here. They feel like they're not as far away. I really like it and I think it's beneficial not just for Round Rock but for all school districts to be moving in that direction just because like I said, we're dealing with 21st century learners and most of these kids aren't going to be doing jobs where they're just sitting at a desk working with paper. They're going to be working with technology, working with iPads, working with, you know, maybe panels like this. And if they're not exposed to those things, they're going to be, we don't want our kids to be behind the times and we want them to be caught up and we want them to be able to, to troubleshoot and to learn how to solve problems with technology and this kind of lends itself toward that. I'll show you some of the other ones we have.